What did I just tell you? Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In today's episode, we will take a look at yet another installment to the Assassin's Creed series, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla was developed and released by Ubisoft in November of 2020, especially released during the release of the Xbox Series X and S, and for the PlayStation 5. The game is also available on the Xbox One, PS4, Stadia, and Microsoft Windows. The game itself is an action role-playing game, and I feel that this installment is the most approachable for newcomers into the Assassin's Creed brand, but these are also newcomers who also have some ideas behind the open world RPGs. The gameplay and story has you jump right into the action with the intense storyline of the protagonist as you choose to be a male or female or let the game choose between genders. The story is pretty basic as you witness your family and clan getting murdered by another clan. You escape but grow up wanting revenge and wanting to regain your honor for your family. I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. Doing so, you will follow the exploits of a childhood friend, Sigurd, as he wants to become much more, making his own path. The clan eventually moves to England to establish a new way of life and begins the journey of the game. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart, but I am glad you'll leave this place alive. Easy to follow along, the game will surprise you with different enemy attacks and patterns throughout the game. I felt that with the option to raid and attack to stealth, the game truly embodies a choice that offers the players different ways to play and attack. I felt that this left the game extremely approachable and much more enjoyable. Also, fetch quests for most part are optional. In previous installments like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the game was definitely enjoyable but needed so many fetch quests in order to advance the story that it really wasn't needed. In this case, you can just transfer and stick to the story or campaign is up to you. With that, the story is nice as you flesh out your character and many others. Where you might get lost is during the modern time periods when Valhalla's exploits give clues into solving the present day issues. If you are on again and off again on the series itself, you will get lost looking online to see what you missed to have these parts of the stories make sense and explained. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Your character is easy to level and advance, giving the player options again in stealth to a straightforward brawler type attack. Different weapons play different roles of attacks as the enemies know the type 
you have and will run at slower, more powerful ones, making you switch mid-combat to attack in your favor. The visual fidelity of this game is very nice and very well done. The team did a fantastic job getting the true feel of Norse mythology intertwined with English culture. This AAA title isn't without its hiccups, as you will find NPCs dropping in and out of the scene or just doing weird things while you walk around. Unfortunately, the massive with massive games like this, it has become the norm to release and then patch it up later. Although annoying to see such a beautiful game, it truly does not kill the mood of the story that it tries to tell. The design and detail truly bring you into the very large lands that you will travel and you will travel a lot by boat or by horse from section to section. This is where you can also put the game in automatic mode and just view the beautiful land as it is in its all its glory to the lush details the game truly offers. The only issues I have is when you are looking for a person to speak with or area you need to go to and using your raven is key in doing so. This is not a perfect system where I would rather do without. It feels clumsy and awkward as it only points to the area you still need to explore. For me, just put the marker on the map and let me be done with it. Feeling about this place. Overall, Assassin's Creed Valhalla gets a strong 8.5 out of 10 for the best, most approachable on the series so far. The game doesn't disappoint with an engaging main storyline, fantastic visuals and designs, and open-ended combat. With its minor setbacks, with small glitches here and there that truly do not break the game at all, this is still a great game to pick up and play. That's it for me on this review on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.